Welcome back to my series about my DIY plate, which is really a very simple design. Uh, and if you are interested in more details about it, please watch my previous videos. In this video, I will make some test parts and also some test cutting. The test parts will be made out of aluminium and the test cutting will be on both aluminium and brass. I didn't want to, to make this video before I made the protection for for the machine, uh, not only for my face, but also the environment around the machine and the machine itself. And that is now quite ready, except for the rear part of the machine. Anyway, I will uh, start uh, making four spacers, which will be made out of 12 millimeter aluminium rod. And I will drill through and I will tap the spacers uh, and then after that I will do some test cutting on uh, a brass rod also. So just relax and enjoy. The first operation is just some uh, simple facing. Uh, please remember that I have never really used a lathe before, so I am still learning, which is why I am very careful. I also have no idea how much this uh, relatively small 180 watt servo can uh, drive the machine. So I just uh, start easy and shaving, really shaving, not really turning. But I will see later on how far I can push the machine. The feeling I have is that the machine is not fighting at all. It is cutting into the aluminium very easily. I don't feel any resistance when I'm turning the hand wheel at all. Uh, the only problem I have, well it's not really a problem, but a disadvantage is that I am using 5 millimeter pitch screws and that's quite a lot, so a very light turn on the hand wheel makes a quite large move and because the machine is only rotating at its maximum 1000 rpm for the chuck it means that I cannot actually run it as fast as uh, I feel I would like to so maybe the next step will be to increase the rpm somehow I am overdoing this uh, facing operation quite a bit uh, because I, this is my first cut and I enjoy it. Otherwise, uh, of course, it should be ready by now. But it feels good to see the chip flying. Maybe it's wrong to call it chips because they are not chips but more like very thin, careful shavings. I don't like the shatter the vibrations, but I guess that is my uh, lack of knowledge on how to use a lathe causing it. So I, I am happy right now with the results as far as I can see.
So after a few minutes of uh, shaving, I have four uh, pieces of, of aluminium rod which are exactly as long as I wanted them to be, like 35 millimeters long. The next operation is drilling and I start with a spot drill to, to pre-drill uh, the center of each rod. I am uh, testing drilling both with the maximum speed and also slower speed to see in the end which one is going to work best but I think the high speed is much better. After pre-drilling all the four rods uh, I uh, drill with a 5mm drill the through hole because I will tap uh, the inside with a 6mm tap. Also this drilling operation is very easy so I have to be careful not to, to drive the drill too fast into the material to avoid uh, welding or, or melting onto the drill. And since I'm not using any coolant, there is a risk if I'm not careful enough. That's it, the drilling is also done. I am actually quite uh, impressed that it was so easy to drill through. And now it's time for tapping. Uh, this is actually piece number four. Uh, the earlier ones I tried quite a bit slower. Uh, but it seems that 50 rpm, uh, at least I feel like 50 rpm is quite good, quite easy to to tap. Uh, but here I am using some lubricants also, uh, and well, the tapping is uh, done half manually. I am pushing the tailstock into the material and uh, once it starts gripping I just let it go and I stop and reverse the machine when it is time. Even this operation seems quite easy for, for the machine. It doesn't struggle uh, at all. So it's, uh, it's quite good that uh, it can tap at least with this uh, six millimeter taps.
So after a few minutes of work, uh, I have my four spacers uh, drilled through and tapped with an M6 tap, so I can use them as I plan to. They have actually turned out quite nice, so I'm quite happy with the res results so far. And now it's time to see what I can do with this uh, brass rod, which is just a failure of another project, but I will use it as a test piece. What I will do is uh, just uh, make the usual facing, uh, and then uh, I will shave off the threaded part, and then also cut it off just to see how well my machine can handle brass, which is quite different from aluminium. I threaded this brass rod uh, earlier, but completely manually in an effort to use it in another project uh, before I built my lathe. So this is why the threaded part is so uneven and the brass rod actually bent also a bit because there is a hole drilled in it also. So hopefully pieces like this will be much easier to make on uh, my lathe later on. Conclusion so far is that uh, the lathe works very well on both aluminium and brass, uh, in fact better than I expected. And now let's see how it behaves uh, with the cutter tool. I guess this will be a bit more difficult because brass is quite a bit harder than aluminium. On the other hand, it's also a different material, so it doesn't weld to the cutter uh, and the chips break into very small pieces, so I think it's, it's, it's very nice to work with. I am still learning, so I am a bit careful, I don't want the piece to break off and fly into my camera. Uh, so I just uh, stop cutting before uh, it breaks off. There is much less material on the other side of the brass rod, so I just cut it off completely. There's also a hole through uh, in this part, so it will break off much easier, much more easy than the other side. Uh, 
As I have said several times in this video, I am quite satisfied with the results, so I will just continue with my project. Thank you for watching and we'll come back next time. And please don't forget to subscribe to my videos.